Okay, first and foremost, my objective here is to, to talk about this brand. This amazing uh, Singaporean-owned company, Emia. Um, I personally, first, the first time they approached me was to try the small guitar, the one with the, the headless thing. Um, I think it was fantastic. But of course, it, I have to say it's a bit hard to play, but once you get used to it, and the whole idea is for traveling, right? So, yeah, straight away I was blown away. I said, okay, maybe uh, I can try more of your guitars. A um, few months later, he came out with Emiya, and I said, okay, I would love to be a part of it. Um, so if you have any questions about the, gu the guitars, I'll be trying uh, all of it, and I hope you guys, um, please don't be shy, please don't be shy. Please don't be shy. I'm also a mutt under the block, just trying to get by. <laughs> you know, um, I'm still practicing. I'm still learning stuff. Um, Nobody is perfect, you know. And yeah, the master is here. <laughs> okay, so yeah, just wanna um, play some stuff on the cl a dirty sound. Oh, by the way, um, after I tried the sounds, I hope you guys have questions. Just throw, you know. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, this is how this guitar sounds like. Bridge position. Now we go to the next. Anyway, uh, by the way, it's equipped with um, Seymour Duncan's. It is the middle sound. The dirty sound, then you go to the, the crunch. You can actually hear the difference, like, um, okay, and the next sound. made from an ash body and a flame I think photo maple is it's, it's like a veneer uh, quite heavy uh, but of course the tone is there and as you know it's white neck is maple um, it's got a brighter tone okay okay uh, it's a very traditional cut I think um, most of us are familiar with the design. Okay, I would like to open the floor. Please ask me anything. So at least I know what to do. <laughs> oh yeah, uh, I got a, a question from Chris. Um, now we, we, we move on to something else. Um, he was asking me about... What is that? It's not your question. Oh, funk. Okay, this is... Basically, this is where I talk about how I develop uh, my own style too. Um, uh, he came out with a good question. Uh, he asked me, how do I improve on my funk playing, right? Like, okay. What I do, um, when I was growing up, um, I was lucky to be called to, be played, uh, to, to play for a wedding band. And um, that's where I start um, exploring all the different kind of uh, styles. Although I grew up uh, listening to a lot of rock, but I think uh, the funk chop, the rhythm thing is so important. It's like, I can't stress. <laughs> I can't stress how important it is, okay? Uh, this is what I do, okay? So, so any chord will do, it's like. 
So what I'll do is that I'll just like Then I'll add, add on the 16 While you're doing that, you're basically just letting go. See, I'm muting the strings, right? Right? So what, what our advice is just to, to just try it really slow. Okay? Then you go. So at the same time, you're trying to coordinate the both. Is the question. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Um, the same thing goes for the picking. I get a lot of questions about um, picking. Um, I have to declare I'm, I'm still practicing every day uh, without fail. Um, to me, practicing is, it, is not something that I, um, uh, you know, some people just try practicing, but to me, it's just. It's just a passion. I just love to play the guitar. Even when I wake up in the morning, the first thing I'll look for is my guitar. Okay, um, picking, picking wise, it's the same thing. What, what I do most of the time is like, you know. So you start slow, right? The last part is where I always fumble. But I, I keep on trying. You know, as I get older, I, I, I realize that I have my, a problem with my thumb. I don't know whether you guys have this problem, but um, my advice is from now on, if you guys are like maybe 20s or 30s, do take collagen. <laughs> it's good for your skin. You look young. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> okay? But at the same time, joints, no. Seriously, seriously, as, as, as a musician, you want to look good. You want to feel good when you perform, right? You don't want to have trouble like now I'm having this, but you know, my thumb gets stuck after a while, then I'll just have to like, click. now I, I can actually hear it. So you don't want that, you don't want that. I'm like a doctor now. <laughs> okay, all right, back, back, back to the, um, the practice. Anyway, this is, I'm just sharing what, what I do and how I progress as a musician. So bear with me. Please ask me any question. <laughs> okay, so back to this. So it's just like difficult. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, also quiet. I don't know what to say, man. <laughs> okay, so the, those are the things that. To me, it's very, it's the basic fundamental of getting your chops right. Because as a guitarist, of course, you, your fingers are moving here, but the power and the tone, the tonality is here. Mm, I think um, Mr. Paul will uh, agree with that. <laughs> the picking hand. Yeah, exactly, exactly. So it is the most important. So what I do, um, only recently, a bit late, lah, but I just discovered this guy called Andy. Uh, he's one of the Sir Andy James. Is it? No, no Andy James. No, no, no. Andy Wood. Andy Woods. Oh my God. You must check him out. Andy, <laughs> Andy James is a metal guy, right? Andy James. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I can't do those kind of stuff. <laughs> okay. So, um, Andy Wood. I would recommend checking uh, him out. Um, there are a lot of um, uh, YouTube uh, tutorials. Eh? Yeah, okay, so uh, the next one. <laughs> you guys okay? Okay. <laughs> okay, so what I did just now was like. Uh, The other one would be to skip strings. Uh, not to skip string, but to go to another string, like a 
the mic sound ah, that's simple but try it what I do is always uh, it's like a sus chord so the whole idea is you are actually picking everything once but in a different direction right right Nice spot anyway. Uh, thank you. I'm I'm just ah. <laughs> no, I'm just basically sharing things that are crucial. <laughs> this is very 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 crucial, very crucial, very crucial. I say it's very crucial because um, I do a lot of sessions in the studio, and um, things like that. When when you are recording, I want Paul know how um, crucial it is it, because every note, every, um, every phrase, every, every little, you know, like sometimes you hit another string, it can be heard. So these are the things that, yeah, uh, that's why I say it's very, very, very crucial. Okay. <laughs> okay. Speed and accuracy, that's a good question. Um, it's, 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 it's a, to me, okay, I... Ah, okay, 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 okay. Uh, yes, 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 I'll go to that. Okay, basically, um, for me, um, I'm more of an alternate picking guy. Um, things like, uh, let me try, ah. Uh. Something like that. So, so what, what I'll do is just now, like, like, like I said, I, I churi a lot actually. Churi is still. Uh. So, churi a lot meaning to say I combine both um, hammer on and pull off at the same time picking. So, that's why the picking is where just now I, I said. So, this, this, this will help. Like, you know, like when you. Right, something like that. But so now I add my picking. I think it's a mix. It's a mix because you, to me, I, I try um, relying only on my picking. It does get in a way because you don't get that clean tone, right? Like very. Uh, this one, I, this is just picking. Uh. Ah, this is a combination. So, so again, it's the picking. It's the picking. What, what I will advise? Okay, um, we were talking about the, the picking hand, right? The, the other hand. So far, the best, the best um, uh, advice I got from one of my friends in KL, Mr. Mankidal, is doing pulling off like. So, so what, what, what we are trying to achieve here is to build your, your strength on, on your fretting hand. So basically it's just like, oh, sorry. Ah, yeah, when you, when you, when you play it in a, uh, on the clean tone, right, it's more obvious. The other one would be, see, yeah? I'm actually hammer, hammering on, then I'm just pulling down, right? The other one, the difficult one would be, this is so difficult. My God, it kills me when I'm doing this. Like, ah. <laughs> but, but, I think you do it for three minutes. It's enough for you to warm up in this school. Right, right. 
I mean, um, most of you are all established players. <laughs> I know. Uh, so basically, I'm just sharing. So we just want, sometimes we, j we don't have the, the luxury of time, right? So all you can do is this. Uh, mm, see? I'm talking about real things. Uh. <laughs> okay, see? See? Yeah, so 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 that will definitely help. That will definitely help. Okay. Ah, uh, what else? Oh, chords. Like um, I stole this from Joe Satriani. This is like I'm sure you all heard of this. Bang, I think you showed me this one not long time ago. So, so basically, the coordination of um, you know, sometimes you need to hold a certain way, right? This all forces you to actually stay in one position. What I mean is like the coordination of going zigzag. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Correct. <laughs> okay. Something like that. Yeah? Okay. So these are things that you can try. And okay, then the, just now you're asking me about chords. Okay, recently, not recently, like uh, last year, um, I was just going through um, what I've done in the past and I realized I didn't pay a lot of attention on my chords, which to me is so important, um, especially um, knowing different positions of chords or different inversions, rather different inversions. Okay, so it just, just, I mean, we are not in a theory class, I just, I just have to um, pass through. <laughs> um, I'm playing just a D minor. I'm also playing a D minor. I'm also playing a D minor. I'm also playing a D minor. Right. Okay, I'm playing a G minor. Right. Right. G minor. I'm also playing a G minor, but it's like actually the, the relative uh, major, right? Okay. So, that G minor. Okay, this is what um, why I say it's important is um, as a guitarist sometimes you're on the fly when you're playing right? you, you don't want to be stuck in one position um, in, in my band where I'm working at night uh, with Jive Talking uh, my keyboard player is a killer jazz guy who always say he doesn't like jazz <laughs> so I'm forced to actually learn a certain way I'm not a jazz guy anyway so it, it, it does help you when you know when you know positions like like right so and of course the other thing that I would strongly 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 um, advise or share is is the arpeggios or the chord tones right. So this will expand your fretboard, uh, right? Hey, suddenly I become so shy. You are like watching me. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Are recording? <laughs> Disclaimer: I'm not a guru or something. You just, I just want to share. You know, I think anything that will help somebody play better to me is okay. I accomplished something. Okay. Okay, so yeah, yeah, just now. This kind of position, everybody knows this kind of position, right? Okay. So you just take, you know, like the A minor pattern, you take out your first finger, right? Then you go to, basically, you take out, then you, you have this, right? Then you go to this one, right? <laughs> then after that, you go to this one. You sure it's the same, but it's different. Asan <laughs> just Yeah, we actually we, we share the same teacher. Eh? Yeah. So yeah, uh, these are things that I want to share. 
So. See, if I play in the keyboard. Something like that. <laughs> okay. Um, so, just now, I was talking about the chord tones. So there's so much to um, to explore. Okay. So uh, for every minor key, there's also a major, a, a relative major, right? So I usually combine these two when I'm playing. Like um, uh, we stay in the minor, lah. Okay, yeah, the minor, right? Right, the minor. So when you count four, uh, four frets up, uh, one, two, three, four, four, four from the, four from the root, eh? Uh, here. Four, right? Then this is one pattern that I always share with my students. Very easy, but it's, but it's so um. It's here, right? Minor chord. One, two, three, four. You do this. Uh, something like that. So these are things that you can actually explore. Right? So that's that's on, on the lower string. The high string or the, the third string. Later you can ask me question. Eh, please lah, alama also quiet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Alama the guru asking me already. Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, company. Mm -mm. Ah, essential lah. Okay. The other thing that I haven't spoke, I haven't talked about is the finger picking. Ah, this is very important because. Um, I was in a situation uh, way back, like three, two years back. Uh, I was called up for um, an acoustic session, and I only know how to strum. I, I'm just like a power block. You know? <laughs> Sekali the producer said, "Hey, no, you have to do uh, this kind of uh, arpeggios, right? And moving bass, you know. So basically, um, D minor against a C bass, right? Those kind of stuff. So, um, yeah." One very important thing is the finger. finger. So, uh, one thing that I can share is any chord, just like. Right. Something like, uh, okay, you can take like. Like, then uh, you, you, you try and come up with your own variations, like. Uh, Right, one, two, or I believe like um, this kind of stuff start slower will be the best. Like uh, Get your sound. Uh, so essential. Like uh, now, uh, a good example would be sometimes we have this problem. Then after that, you go to the distortions like too loud, right? Okay. So um, in a different setting, you have to know what is required, lah. Like uh, especially in sound, sound wise. So um, yep, uh, that one. Uh, your chord knowledge, and one thing that I um, a lot of questions ask about this. How do you transpose? <laughs> yeah, especially when you get a singer who is like, hello, this kind of voice, right? And suddenly you're playing, uh, don't stop living in the key of C. Oh my God. 
I would die too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, that part, no choice. Uh, we have to do some research and uh, studies on your own. But uh, I can tell you, if you set your fingers... Uh, oh, yeah, very important thing. Um, if, if you guys have the time, uh, do a bit of research about the cage system. The cage system is so essential for session players. I rely on that most of the time. And the Chinese call it the numbering system. So one can be C, one can be D. Uh, these are things that... Um, again, this is not a theory class, but just a sharing session. Yeah. Um, yeah. So those are the things that I think is very, very essential. Yeah. Any more questions? Ah, yeah, bang. Yeah, yeah. You are love. Your latest album. Can you elaborate on the idea? The idea. Okay, 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 okay. Wow, this. Um, I grew up uh, watching Star Wars. I like this kind of. <laughs> Same here. <laughs> so basically, I grew up watching Star Wars. Mm, I have. I like to write. I'm not a fantastic writer, <laughs> but I'm. I'm. I'm so thankful that I have friends that are uh, so much more uh, advanced in writing and their English. Their command of English is uh, way much better. So. Uh, the whole idea, the idea of the new album, um, I was thinking, okay, maybe one day I'll just write a book. Um, and this is about, uh, it started with uh, my old album, uh, Divine. Uh, the song Punama is about a uh, warrior princess who broke her promise and, you know, go against her own country just because she fell in love with uh, the enemy's son, you know. And I said, who is going to buy my, album, my book if I, I, I publish a book? Then it came to mind, hey, maybe I can just add uh, whatever recordings um, that I had in mind, the ideas, to actually suit or actually plan to suit the, to, to suit the story. And um, the difficult part was to actually read the, the rough sketches of what I had and putting in emotions to what the story is about. Ah, this is another thing that I can explore, uh, I mean, share with you. Um, I did a few takes. I think they were great. Producer come to me, hey, but you're not telling the story. So that is another thing. While um, um, Avon Paul was doing um, some songs just now, I realized um, how important phrasing is. Phrasing, phrasing. I mean, everybody can play like a, a lot of notes. Um, in a bar, but to phrase it like you meant it, like you, you're saying something about it, I think that is priceless and you cannot learn that. Huh? But you have to go through a certain um, phrase in your, uh, phase in your life. I, I <laughs> yeah, but, but, yeah. It's, it's, it's so... Um, you can't... It's, it's priceless. You know, when, when you know how to express and you, you can relate to a certain situation. Uh, this is not about music already, eh? <laughs> Wait, but you guys okay now? I don't want to bore you with all these things. But I think this is very essential because, I mean, Abang Paul has done all the playing. So to me, I, I, so it's balanced, right? It's, it's, it's a wholesome thing where you all are here and okay, you get this, you get that. Like, okay. So the, the emotion is... Um, so important, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. When I was young, I still remember um, 1991, I was recording for uh, Teacher's Pet um, under Warner Music. So nobody told me what to do. But at the same time, after the recording, I was like, oh man, I could have done better. Because it was all about, oh, this is what I know. <laughs> Everything is like, <laughs> Then when you listen back, you say, hey, this is not what I want to do. Because the, the people can't really relate. And true enough, the song that actually made it to the charts was the song that I played acoustic guitar on. <laughs> so do you see the irony of that? So uh, it's, it's so important that you understand a song. Now, now that I'm um, at this age, I'm 43, by the way, 
I, I learned to appreciate songs, melodies. And of course, for whatever songs that I'm recording now, I would ask the person, what is it about? And I try to immerse myself into the situation of the song. Uh, that's another angle that you can actually apply for your playing, huh, Mr. Rich? <laughs> okay, so why I'm saying that is sometimes, you know, like when you're young and you do things to what you think, oh, this is good, or oh, this is all right, man. You know, like uh, you imagine in the, in the 80s, people wear all those makeups, big hair. You call the people now, <laughs> tell them to see. So that, that's what I mean. You want to be... Um, you want to be um, wise in your decisions. Um, think before you do, and of course, uh, uh, understand what you're doing and what you are doing it for. For like counseling, oh, oh. I think I've reached that, that age, lah. <laughs> yeah, because playing, everyone can play, but I think to to me nowadays, when I go to YouTube, so I always watch this all this um, uh, motivational talk. Uh, I, I recently discovered things like um, um, I don't know whether I'm supposed to say this. Or it, what? What's that? I did. No. <laughs> hey, but I'm really happy for Mahathir. <laughs> okay. Um, you know, like self motivation. Uh, thinking about um, wanting things that you want and working towards that. Yeah, that's that's what I'm trying to say. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, like I said. Uh, playing guitar is a passion. It's never work for me. It's never a chore. I just love to do it. It's just I'm so thankful that I have music uh, as part of my life, and I hope um, the younger people will take this seriously and make use of it in a positive way. Uh, any questions? <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah. You guys okay? Okay, okay. Hey, you, yeah. Let's try the other guitars. Okay. Anyway, this is about Emiya, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll, I'll, I also want to invite uh, you guys, any one of you, come and play the guitar here. Come, come. No, uh, just remember this. Just remember this. Okay, just remember this. It's, this, to me, like I said, um, everybody share. Please share. Please share. This. Kita nak share. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay guys, come, as come. mentioned, yeah. uh, you all yeah. can also get yourself involved yeah, right now correct. if you want to. See, remember this. Uh, I always, I always tell um, the younger generation is like um, you have to. Um, uh, share and you know when when you see some other people play you sometimes not sometimes most of the time there'll always be something that you learn so when when I share with you and you share with me and this one share with others the community grows stronger in a way like hey you know this I don't know hey share with me okay then you will share with the other one so the whole idea is to bring up this community where everything is about positive and you know you share your knowledge because knowledge is something that you know, priceless, right? Yes. Ah, then now you come here. <laughs> A round of applause for our audience. Huh? Like yeah. I said, it's all about yeah. sharing. So yeah. some of y'all who are interested, feel free to come and uh, yeah. get yourself right. involved too. Okay. Anyway, this guy, I discovered him when uh, last three years, eh? Yes. Last three years. Um, he likes to post on the, the Facebook thing. Then I was watching him, I was like, hey, no, no, you play. Play, play, play. So, okay, now I become the host. Ah, this is what I like. You know, Emiya, okay, okay. Okay, so I'm always about um, sharing with the young, young uh, talents. I think they are the driving force too. And um, they are the next uh, generation of um, talents that is going to bring Singapore to another level. Mm. Anyway, I discovered him while I was uh, looking through uh, Facebook. I think he has a lot of tenacity and, you know, the drive to play. And maybe just play 
a bit. Yeah, come on, man. Just show me. <laughs> okay, Mr. Ritz and Emia Guitars. Okay, Mr. Ritz on the guitar. Hey, sorry. What do you think of the guitar? Uh, it's good. It's uh, it's it, uh, it flows. Uh, yeah. It was for me. Uh, anyway, um, Ritz is playing a zafir. Uh, it's, it's on an ash body, and I think it's on a Simona uh, fifty nine. Yeah. So you can hear the the, the, the flow, right? This is the this is the riff I was talking about. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, have a uh, come on come on. Okay. Can I can I have Mr. Hassan please? Hassan please. Please. Just just share some stuff. Come on. Yeah. Yeah. I Okay. This guy I know him. Uh, way back in 2008 eh? 2008 eh? As you can see, he's got not enough sleep and too much coffee <laughs> So I must uh, tell him to take a lot of collagen <laughs> No, I'm joking Okay, so he has a band called uh, Noetic Theory um, He does all the progressive stuff First time I saw him playing, I was like What the hell, this is something different So, um so basically, just why I'm doing this is I just want everybody to try different different Amiya guitars. So this is a, you know. Ah uh, yeah, he has a custom custom customizer. Yeah, it's a seven seven or uh, he's a seven string player. So yep. All right. Uh, anything. Just, just a bit, just to noodle around, yeah, yeah. Right. For him, he don't believe in speed. Yeah, it's just something that we need, but we just take it up once in a while, right? Yeah. Require. Yeah, require. It's required. Yeah, correct. Yeah. But I think what Mr. Paul and uh, Eddie's way of doing things is more on storytelling, feel, the tone. But we need to maybe because of age. It's <laughs> age. When, when I was young, I was always speed. Mountain shit, all these kind of things. Yeah. And after about coming to the fifties, you know, yeah, ah, uh, totally change. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, seriously, uh, this is what I experienced. Uh, my son, Mr. Paul, we is 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 difficult for us to express what we have. This is what I believe. This is my my opinion. Speed is not everything. It's my opinion. The, and like I said again, it's all about age. Okay? When we reach certain maturity, we tend to mellow down. And we think about phrasing, the proper phrasing, proper choice of notes, chords, and those extensions of setting. Those days, we never thought of all this. Seriously? We never thought of all this. So now, being this age, more mellow down. So that's why I love to watch Mr. Paul, Mr. Eddie, you know, this 
for me it's like there's something in, in them for me to really watch and learn every second every minute every second it's all learning, learning process yeah? it's, it's really a learning process for me so I'll, I'll watch even anyone I'll watch like this like uh, uh, Rashid all these people play Rocky uh, Rocky Mavia yeah okay I watch I watch and I learn something from them if there's definitely like, it's definitely something that we can learn from them okay besides if you want to play all this kind of you know so my approach is a bit different huh? so it's uh, like I said it's, I'm waiting for my my guitar yeah his guitar is coming soon yeah Look at the nice chords. Eh? <laughs> okay, thank you. Okay, the Hassan. Okay, now I would like to invite um, Hafiz. Hafiz. You know, Hafiz was playing the guitar just now and it was sold. My God, 25%. <laughs> okay, Hafiz, you can choose. You, do you want Do you want to try uh, the guitar that Abang Paul played? The telly or... Okay, okay hold on. Okay, now I'm really promoting. This is a heavy guitar. It's a, yeah, it's a serious guitar, uh, telly, telly style, uh, and it's going for. <laughs> Six nine nine. Eight nine nine. Yes. It, but today we are going to give discount. <laughs> Hey guys, I realized something. I think I, I'm quite good at this. <laughs> maybe I should stop playing guitar. <laughs> and maybe just concentrate on my story writing. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay. This. What are you Distortion, huh? Clean, okay. Okay, presenting Hafiz. I'm in a band called Outcry. If <laughs> <laughs> um, my because I want to try a Telecaster so badly, and because uh, there's one song. I mean, there's one of our hit song. Uh, I don't know what to. Uh, one of a slow a ballad song. I mean, the intro. I have. A, I have to express something. I have to express this. I wish I recorded that intro with a telly. <laughs> I wish I recorded the intro with a telly. So. I have a secret, uh, secret what do you call it? Pencari. So, uh, I'm always searching for a good telly sound, telly sound. So I can, so I can have a, any clean sound in the future that I record, I can have one. Uh. Stop your <laughs> Thank you. 
put your hands for Mr. Hafiz. Okay. Okay, so um, before, before I go, and before I call Mr. Paul again on stage, uh, I just want to say thank you, but uh, is there anyone else who wants to try the guitar? Anyone, please. Please, you're most welcome. You're most welcome. Anwar, I'm going to try. Anwar, I'm going to try. Basis. Hey, yeah, there's one bass here that we... Alim, Alim, can we... Bass? Please, please help us. Come on, man. We are doing for Emiya, no? Lim. Okay, folks, like what Mr. Eddie said, uh, it's yeah. a guitar clinic, so yeah. you guys can get involved. Yeah. Okay, it's not just the two legends here, but everybody else. You can get your situation and fix on, like he said, share the ideas. I think this is the only bass that we have for Emiya, right? Um, it's, it's based on the uh, jazz, uh, jazz bass body. And I think it looks beautiful with the, um, the rosewood um, pickguard in a two color sunburst and a maple neck. Um, and the best part, the bass is very light. Okay, Alip, take it away. Oh, do, you, do, you want to say, do you want to say something? I got nothing to say actually. I'm waiting for my customers. So like. <laughs> wow, so that jadi ready, man. Okay. Okay, so you can see that there's a uh, two single coil. Okay, now Halim is going to try and change the tone. Uh, oh, that sounds like Dane Safari. <laughs> oh, I a teacher, teacher. Right, yeah. Right. Yeah. Nice. Okay. Okay, thank you, Halim. Okay. Okay, so... Last call, anyone else? Please. Uh, okay, in that case, I think we are done for today.